Tonight, we're going to unbox this TBB. Uh, this one is an Energizer Apollo All-in-One Solutions by TBB. So, this is a hybrid inverter. And let's see. Okay. So, it's a 48 volts. 230 output, 60 and 50 hertz. It's also a 3 kilowatt pure sine wave inverter. PV input is 150, so it has a built-in MPPT, char uh, MPPT charger or a solar control charger. Uh, 30 amps on the MPPT side, and I think the 60 is the AC charger side. Okay. So let's going to uh, unbox this and check what's in store for us on this hybrid inverter. It's a bit huge. Okay, let's open this beast. And the big reveal. What's in store for us? Manual. So you have the Okay, pretty interesting. Uh, oh, battery terminals. Nice. Really nice. I think this is for the, if I'm not mistaken, this battery. Yeah, ah, I get it. Now it's negative and positive, so I think this is a butter, battery terminal uh, voltage indicator or sensor. So you need that. Most high-end ECC or some uh, ECC, new newer ones, have a voltage uh, checker or voltage terminal checker to compensate for the actual voltage of your battery, which is good. So I don't know what's this. Maybe we'll be able to check on that. And this one is... Uh, Energy Pro Series bidirectional inverter. Oh, and TBB. We will check on this. Oh, I think this is, I don't know, maybe this is a what, uh, Bluetooth or something. But we will check that once we dig deeper on the manuals. And for the mounting brackets and some ferrules. Oh, very nice. And of course, it's manual. So inner gyre, all in one, and a quick manual where it uh, gives a description. So, like it's solar charge controller, we can also remove the bottom part. I think where you place your cables, and we're going to check that and testing and everything so let's put on the side let's check on it very nice very nice it's a beauty okay oh yes here it is. It's the Energizer Apollo 3. So it's a 48 3 kilowatt 30 amps. In PPT 150 volts 60 amps. Oh, so now the earlier, so our song earlier. 
So the MPPT is 60 volts, 150 VOC, and it's AC, I think this is the 30. So you have the bypass, inverter to solar, which is very nice. I'm going to lift this up. Oh, heavy. Very heavy. Oh, yes. Indeed. Very heavy. Hmm. And like it's ECC also. Uh, it's solid. It's very solid. So, same construction. Uh, you have also the same grills on the side, but this one it has its own, uh, I would say, notch so that you could lift. Very nice. And it's heavy. On the side, you can see. There is an external fuse. Oh no, sorry. External circuit breaker. AC output and AC in. I think this is more on the, uh, the inverter side. On the grid side. And at the back. So, huge. This is a huge nut or, or a bolt. Yes, it's huge. So as you can see, same construction, same material on their AC on, solar charge controller. It's powder coated uh, metal. And same thing. So as you can see, it has its grills on top. So you can also see that this, this is a grill. Uh, what else? We we're going to check. At the bottom. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So now we can see there's a PV input. Aha! I like this. If you have a rocker controller, uh, a hybrid that is a rocker controller, it's really good. Because, I'm going to explain this maybe in the other video. How do you be able to uh, manipulate your inverter if you have a rocker controller? But, depending on its function, I'm going to check. So, I don't know what's this energy. Uh, so, here is your DC. DC negative, DC positive. So, I think this is on the battery side. You have your AC output. And very interesting. Let me check. Let me check. So AC output 1, AC input, and you have an AC output 2. So most hybrid inverters only have one AC output. So this is a good thing because we're going to, we're going to explore why is it that this type of inverter, this type of hybrid inverter, is or have let's say two outputs two ac output as you can see the construction is really well built and you have uh, as you can see here the uh, grounding connection is, is well exposed and it has a huge nut i think this will fit six yes so we'll, let's try to open the topmost what's in store for us Let's open this up. So, they have relatively the same design with its uh, solar charge controller, which is good. And what time is it now? Uh, nine. It's already nine. PM. I always do unboxing at night because we don't have any external sounds except for the rain outside. It's been raining for the past four days due to the storm. 
and let's look this up what's in store for us because I get intrigued on this inverter AC out one and two you don't see that often on most cases it's just you know a single AC out but on this case it has two oh. Yes, so let's get a little bit closer, a little bit closer, let's check ah, and see what's inside of this uh, very robust hardware. Okay, on this side, you can see that the uh, AC output one so this the line the ground and the neutral so same thing on AC in but if you're line to line you can use the uh, L L and N so remember when you power this up your line your grid or your output will be uh, L to N uh, so it has torque so good thing it's really well designed and also uh, it has its own uh, description on how to uh, tighten the screws and on the battery side DC input negative and positive very nice and this one also is again in here very interesting why is it here what what's the function of this we're going to check that uh, closer look so auxiliary and let's try to remove this uh -huh. auxiliary in v s and v uh, negative so this i think uh this one is more on the battery uh voltage detector and on the top ah this is good now this one is canvas so if your battery if you have a battery that is uh lithium like uh some products right now like uh polytech i guess uh i saw some releases of the new uh, battery which is an oem and it has canvas so it directly talks to your battery and also to your inverter which is really good on the other side this is bts so the temperature i think the uh, earlier that we saw maybe that's it and other than that let's see so we're going to check here uh -huh. so yes you've seen it right ac out one ac input and ac out two so it's clear picture and let me see what's this so the rocker switch is connected to inside and your pv is here so that's why very nice uh construction wise it's really solid and this one is also is actively cooled so it's going up i think but we will know that when we power this thing and huge nut and bolt for for your the dc input battery very nice no uh, i'll when i'm going to mount this i'm going prior to this i'm going to show you uh an inverter also that is a three kilowatt but 24 volts and we'll check you know, just for a comparison so on the sides you can see and okay i think that we have here what we have here is the what we see earlier so coming from dongfu 
warning high voltage not open for repair so pretty neat you know uh unlike the the ecc i think this one it's cooling i guess since this is active cooling i think uh it's inside is more on the aluminum so that explains the grill oh, i think it's in here i know we cannot see that okay i'll stop it here first and thumbs up if you like uh, more videos to come